Welcome to Josiah Plays Child of Light. This game caught my eye just a few days ago, and I found myself thoroughly enchanted by its beauty and artfulness. It is mostly a role-playing game of the JRPG variety in terms of the combat system. It is also a platformer, so it's kind of a combination of those two game styles. It seems to definitely be on the more casual slash uh, kid-friendly end of the scale as far as games go. It's not something for hardcore players, but above all I would say that this is an art game. That's how it seems to me, that's how I would qualify it. And it looks absolutely beautiful, both visually as well as thematically. So I'm excited about going through this journey and just enjoying it. And if the game is easy and casual and if it seems a bit childlike, that's okay. I'm just gonna relax and take in the art. So let's play Child of Light. There are two difficulties, casual and expert. From what I've read, casual is extremely easy. So I'm going to play on expert. And we'll see how it goes. So far the music and the visuals are gorgeous. Child, tuck yourself in bed and let me tell a story of Lemuria, a long lost kingdom and a girl born for glory. In Austria was a crown land ruled by a duke. Aurora was his daughter, child of a duchess mysterious, beloved by her father. He raised the girl alone. They were rarely apart, till the duke felt lonely and misplaced his heart. It was the Great Friday before Easter 1895. Players performed for the duke, his new bride at his side. That night, Aurora went to sleep. The fire burned down low. She caught a chill that spread. Her skin was cold as snow. At dawn, they found her, vacant. Aurora's light gone out. Her father wept and pleaded, but there could be no doubt. For all intents and purposes, Aurora was dead. And yet, once upon a time, she awoke in a strange land instead. This is gorgeous. What am I seeing? I must be dreaming. Ubisoft presents a Ubisoft Montreal production. Child of Light. I like how it was all dark and then the image of the child and the light sort of appeared out of the darkness. Chapter One, The Girl and the Firefly. I need to reduce the uh, sound effect volume because it's way too loud. All right, so here we are. Father, wake me from this slumber. Look at the way her hair moves. That's amazing. Uh, and that jump. So, from the intro story, we're definitely getting a very Snow White slash Sleeping Beauty kind of feel. She's apparently in some kind of coma, and here she is in the magical dream world. Um, and I'm probably supposed to go the other way, but... God, this is beautiful. Look at the art. 
just the art style, the visual style of this game is already really, really doing it for me. And the animations and that hair, that hair animation, of course, then we're getting kind of a brave thing with that crazy mop of flowing red hair. I also like this because it's a female protagonist. And it seems uh, like it has kind of a uplifting and socially positive message. So we'll see. So I can jump. I'm just moving around with WASD. There's something up there. And I can jump by pressing W to jump up. Very simple. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that up there? See that? There's some kind of scary bird thing. All right. Left to the Tree of Thorns. Cool. The branch creaks and moves. I really like the environment and how it's navigated and the multiple layers from the background to the foreground. Yeah, whoever did the, the art for this game and the level design did a great job. All right, now I think I'll go the way that I'm supposed to go. Hello, big scary weird bird thing. Or maybe it's friendly. Who knows? Look at the way, like, the little, the little bits of stuff that kind of fly off when she lands. Are those just mo like little ashes of pure darkness or what? Right, to the old monastery. Cool. So I don't suppose... Woods darker than night, shadows lost of light. Apparently everything in this game is in poetry also. So I can jump over this, but I can also do a push-pull thing. This is kind of reminding me of Limbo right now. Alright, cool. So I can pull this over, which enables me to get up there. Okay. Alright, cool. First, I got to go back and see what was this way. Look at that thing and the flying right there. It looks like a tiny, like fish, like a whale-type fish with wings. Let's see what's up here. Again, I'm going the wrong way. I'm pretty sure, but I've hidden area type thing. Right to the old monastery again. Okay. Left to the altar of Mathildus. Cool. This dream is formed of frigid air. Dark spirits fly, I know not where. Sorry, I needed to take a quick pause there. And I also wanted to look at the menus here to see what I can see as I do in these games. The music's really nice. Wander the forest floor, this dream world to explore. That must be my quest, so to speak. So in my party I have just one person, Aurora, the hero, or the heroine. Level 1, 14 hit points, 6 magic points, I guess. So there's some different stats and stuff. Okay. How about skills? Oh, we have quite a skill tree here. So it's, it's definitely an RPG, it's not just the platformer. Lots of things, I'm not going to like look at all these right now. Until it's time to actually upgrade something. Oculi. So there's a sort of a crafting system, which as I understand it kind of is a gem combining type of thing, maybe? Where you make different things to slot in your items. Okay, inventory is empty. Can't look at the map yet. Confessions. These must be like journal things that you find, and I don't have any yet. 
Okay, let's go on. Ah, this is beautiful. Whoa. Hello, Mr. Scary Spider. Oh, look, wow, look at that tree with the light. And she's running slower. No, wake up, wake up. Nightmare, let me wake. So she knows she's in a dream. She's crying. Papa, where are you? My heart shall break. And there's our little glowing friend. Will someone please explain how water falls with no rain? I can't explain that. Who spoke? I did. Shake the dew from your eyes. Before mold grows. That's common sense. A firefly that speaks advice? My supper must have been too dense. So these rhyming couplets. Food sounds good, but I am lost. Ever heard of an aurora? Look at his face. <laughs> Why, sir, she is me. Both sir and she, a split aura. Perhaps you are some kind of flora. Cease your foolishness at once. I am Aurora, I am she. Oh, why didn't you say so? Follow me. A lady waits. Hair long as a forest stream. With skin like moths and gleaming eyes. A seer, she'll know the way out of this dream. So now I control uh, the little firefly. Look, when you move him fast, he kind of like flattens and then he goes back to his shape. That's cute. What's his name? He's got a name. Igniculus. All right. So I control her with WASD and I control him with my mouse. And apparently I can like mouse over things and I can make him glow. Look at the way his face... <laughs> and then that makes his little um, bar go down. Like... Okay, so he can like stun the, the creature. That's cool. Alright, let's go back. This is neat. This is, this is cool the way they have this, where you control him with the mouse and her with the keyboard. Igniculus. Thanks. Got it. Oh, wow, look at that. Big, scary giant in the background. Each footstep pounding and resounding. What is tied to these branches? Curious charms, little hands fashioned tight. Don't you know? These are wishes. Wishes of light left in darkest night. Oh, wishes, wow. Follow the orange one to find more. Bright. So you get... Wishes taste delicious. Have a bite. So he's a wish eater. <laughs> Wait until I tell father about this night. So I think... Oh yeah, and I think he can heal her by doing that on her. But I think his little meter gets recharged by those wish things.
goodies. Wait, am I getting stuff off of the fruit too? Maybe not. So I can... Oh yeah, I definitely got something off of that fruit. Okay, so those things are healing her also. I mean, she wasn't injured, but nonetheless, they would have been healing her if she were, I think. Alright, let's go in here. The path's right over this tree. But I cannot fly there with thee. Trapped, the door is barred. A scepter round, a translucent sphere. Clear as glass, the answer. Sir Firefly, ignite your rear. <laughs> Whoa, I barely know you. <laughs> Do it and I'll show you. I think Igniculus needs an adult. The three scepters a shadow cast. Oh! We have to match the symbols fast. Okay, so... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. So I, I have him glow, and, I, and then I move him so that the light shines through the sphere and cast the right shadow on the right symbol. That's awesome. That's a cool little mechanic. Sir Firefly, our path is clear. But who would put a door here? Apparently the owner of the tree. I shall enter by pressing E. Oh no, now I'm going to start talking in rhymes. Who is she, I wonder? She looks like a muse. Remove the sword under. Who spoke? Some sort of ghost? The lady of the forest, I'm sure of this. Aurora, take the sword of Matildas. Ah, the sword of Matildas. Okay. Okay, let's try it. Pulling the sword from the stone. Another classic. Da -na -na -na. It feels real. Look at it gleam. And heavy, too. Run, that thing looks mean. Fortunately, I wield a sword in this dream, so she's empowered. Big scary creature. The timeline shows who will act next. Okay. So, she can do various things. So she gets to here. She's gonna... Okay, I get it. So she can defend or slash. Well, let's slash. Hit him for five and interrupted him. Uh-oh, the creeper. Oh, her crown falls off. Nice. And she puts it back on. Alright, let's do this. Slash. Boom. Plus 40 action. Nice. The way she holds that sword up reminds me of Zelda. Da -na -na -na. Okay, so I got the sword. I defeated my first creature of darkness. Cool. The animations are nice in this. O 
Oh, father, how much farther? Aurora, what is a father? That is simple. I am his daughter. Um, if, you, if you get him from behind, you get a surprise strike. So, hold, yeah, that slows him. I got that part already. Slash him up. Big heavy slash. If I can slow him enough, then I'll get to attack. And, and interrupt his attack, see? If I attack while he's in the red bar. Oh, he went a little... I should have kept him slowing him a little bit, I guess. Okay. Oh, and he interrupted me. Well, that's rude. See, that's healing her. Okay. Slash him again. And that's enough out of you, weird wood beetle monster. Level up. I gained all that stuff, and I gained a skill point. Cool. Select new skills for Aurora. Alright, now I got decisions to make. So each of these, this is what I have, slash and defend. Um, and I can go and take any of these, but there are, each one is like a separate tree that leads linearly, linearly, really? It leads in a linear fashion to one of these. So at the end, this leads to a better slash, and a slash against all creatures, that's pretty sweet. And what, a better defend? I go that way, so that's corner of the melee tree, I think. This leads to flash of light targeting a single dark creature. Light is strong against dark, of course it is. So that's a spell. And it leads and then there's a better one. Increased damage spell. There's a starlight against everybody. Another increased damage. Okay, so that is like the spell cast thing. Light ray. Powerful light attack with a 10% chance of killing a targeted dark creature instantly. Wow. Okay. Cast time very long. Counter attack. That's cool. An even better light ray. A better counter attack. And a light ray against everybody. Okay. Well, light ray sounds pretty good. Um, so does Starlight. I think we'll do Light Ray. Because it sounds pretty cool. Okay. Reach the seer waiting with starlit eyes. A way out of the dream, she will surmise. Cool. Do I have any? No. Do I have any? No. Do I ha yeah. And, uh... So now I have a spell. Right to the old monastery. Left to the altar of Matildas. So the altar is where I got my sword. Look at, oh, look at the background. Is that like the evil queen 
the specter of the evil queen. And the evil castle. Some lots of cool statues. Attack from behind for a surprise strike, right. Let's do this. Alright, bug guy. Um, light ray. Let's do this. Casting. Light ray. Alright, that was cool. One shot. Oh, and I'll be getting my magic points back from the... Oh, I need... I need this stuff. Oops. Should have got the other one, but I wasn't really paying attention. Does he restore magic points when he does this? No, just health. Okay, so I'll get more magic points from... Um, the wish trees or whatever. So I'm in the water. Oh, there's something good up there. So he can open it? Oh, I got a healing tonic. Recover 50% HP. Awesome. I like that I can open stuff with Igniculus instead of having to physically like run or jump up there to open it. Very lazy platforming. <laughs> Can't be bothered to actually jump anywhere. Okay. I don't think I can light ray again because I. Oh, there's two of them. He can do this while it's paused. That's convenient. Okay, so I don't have the magic points to light ray. So let's just um, slash one of them. The one that's going to go first. Get the seven. Oh, one shotted. Awesome. Slow down. Slow. Slow your roll. Yeah, I'm going to interrupt him, too, if I don't just kill him outright. Some fun little mechanics here with using Igniculus with, to augment the normal battle system. Oh, I leveled up again already. Cool. And I got a magic potion. What will I spend my next skill point on? It's a cliffhanger. Stay tuned next time and you will find out. This has been Josiah Plays, Child of Light. See you next time.